Hi everyone, this is Judy Medor with The Oily Crafter. I'd like to welcome you today to our channel. I have my husband Greg behind the camera and today's project is going to be unboxing the new Xtool F1 that we just received. Alrighty, so here we go. We've got the box for the Xtool F1. My husband has already cut it open for me. I'm gonna set it down over here to the side a little bit so I can reach in and pull stuff out and let's see here oh it's a box within a box <laughs> all right so i'm gonna have to do this get that flap out of the way seems to be pretty well packaged yeah <laughs> so i may need the pocket knife again we'll see here how this is done Okay, that's glued. Oh, there's a pull tab right here. There we go. I'm excited. I've been waiting for since April when I ordered this. Okay, we start out with oh, a nice manual. Got lots of pages to it. A lens clean cloth, it looks like. Pretty sturdy foam there. They really package it well. All right. Oh, wow. We're already down to the unit. Here we go. The X Tool F1. Okay. We have several boxes of tools and or I think they sent some samples of things to practice on. We'll open those up and make sure everything out of the box. So the other half, ugh. I don't think there's anything underneath it. I want to double check. Yep, it's blank. So that's, wow, that's nice and tidy. The way they did that. The only thing I don't like about that is it doesn't reseal. So <laughs> if you want to use it to carry to craft shows, you don't have anything to keep it closed look well, because a lot of people are like oh I wish they would got a case for this for taking the craft shows now I see why all right so the unit itself okay I'm gonna sit down to unbox these little boxes here to see what we have there's a pocket knife Just if you case. need it yeah. all right so we'll start with the two boxes that are the same size and see what we have Okay, oh, looks like power supply. And I already told my husband since I have the Xtool D1 20 watt Pro, I'm gonna to have to make sure I mark all of these little blocks so I make yeah. sure if I ever carry them anywhere, I'll be able to yeah. identify. In case it's different uh, volts out or, or amps out, you wouldn't want to plug the wrong one in and go, oops, I wish I hadn't done that. So the two boxes that are the same size is the power cords, or power cord for two pieces. D do me a favor and open that and make sure that's a U.S. plug, not a European plug. Good point. Okay. Looks like a... Yeah, a NEMA 515 plug and a, yeah. and the female version, the C19, that plugs into the end of the... Uh, power supply there and then we have usb to usb-c USB -C, yep okay <clears throat> pretty much usb-c is is a standard they said everybody's trying to go to so as opposed to micro usb macro usb mini usb yeah okay medium size box we have materials Okay. Nice. Scoot that that way. <clears throat> so in there, let's see. Looks like you got a couple oh, of slate. No, that's is, a heat sink. Yeah, that's the little tray that goes in the bottom there. I was wondering if that came with it or whether that was another. Oh, is that, a, is that a tray or is that a heat it's, sink? It's a, well, I think they call it a heat sink tray because you put your stuff on top of it to, uh, okay. when you're cutting uh, materials like this wood right here. I can get it out. There we go. The wood sits up on it, and that way, uh, 
it's not like see. against this metal plate that I have underneath it. It came with my X tool uh, okay. honeycomb. Okay, nice. So that helps you with that. So we have, mm. uh, looks like two pieces of probably MDF. Although it has grain to it, so it's probably not MDF. It's probably something. Yeah, like if it's got grain to it, it's not MDF. And okay, we have two wood rounds. With a live edge. Well, yeah, looks like live edge. Uh, magnets, maybe? It has 3M on the back, so I'm assuming it's either. So it wouldn't be a magnet, it would be uh, something uh, to stick on something else. <laughs> All right, and then the glue. <laughs> Um, I think people said this is like photo scratch paper or something like that, or cardboard, hmm. and other films, and I'm not sure what this one is either. Maybe black acrylic. It's kind of what it reminds me of when I look at the edge. All right, and then we have some metal uh, different things to uh, a fish shape, a dog bone shape, a circle. Kind of like is, a pet tag or yeah, the, the, a, or maybe a necklace or a charm for a bracelet. Yeah, that's probably what these are. Because, so you can use the IR on that, from what I understand. Metal uh, business cards. And then you're right, there is a slate a coaster. A slate coaster in there. One slate coaster yep. to practice on. Nice. All right, so that's the middle size box. I'm going to scoop that, that way with you. Yeah, got it. And now, I'm having a fun time trying to figure out how to keep all my parts to all my different lasers separate. <laughs> oh, okay, this is the um, exhaust, tube. exhaust tube that would go off to if I had gotten the mm -hmm. purifier. Now, these look really small, like maybe three inch or something like yeah, that. Yeah, got it. Uh, so, they, I was going to use them with my Glowforge exhaust thing that I got for craft shows rather than buying the desktop one that came that they offered to go with that. But you'll have to find some kind of an, an adapter. adapter. Yeah, I'll need an adapter for it. But okay, so no. that's all. And then there's, oh, yes. There's key. There's supposed to be a second key. They said they send two. Oh, it's in the back already. They send a little key for you to um, make it laser, make it safe when you're in public. If you like walk away or something or turn your back and mm -hmm. you're not running it, you can take the key out and somebody can't accidentally start it. Yeah. All righty. So that is everything in the box. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll come back later with um, showing you some samples of stuff that we made.